guess what I've got on my lap right now? It's books. Hello there, it's me Lily and welcome back to another video on my booktube channel. Today I will be showing you one, two, three, four, five, six books which are relatively new on my bookshelf and it really is a mix of everything like there is German books, there is English books, there is romance books, there is fantasy books, everything. That being said, I will not be showing you the books in the order I got them but instead just the way I have them on my lap right now just because I'm too lazy to sort them into when I got them. But let's just get right into it. Starting off, we have a German book which is Myths of Shapeshifters by Emily Chiara. It is a fantasy novel including some romance I believe and so far I haven't heard much about it but it seems to be quite interesting and good from what I've heard so far which just really intrigued me and yeah Myths of Shapeshifters would be book number one on my list. This is actually a two book series. Also just look at the sprayed edges they're so beautiful. I mean... Then, next up, we have yet another fantasy novel, but this time it's an English one. It also is a very short book compared to the other ones on my list. This is the cover, and the title would be Mountains Made of Glass by Scarlett St. Clair. Now, for those of you who don't know who Scarlett St. Clair is, I believe she's the author of the Hades and Persephone series. So, A Touch of Darkness, A Touch of Rune, and A Touch of Malice. Also, the Hades saga, which would be A Game of Fate, A Game of retribution and then Adrian and they saw so I am very curious to see what this one might be about and I don't know if this is a newer book of hers I think it might be I'm curious it just seems very interesting to me and it's a rather short novel so I might be able to read this this month we'll see and then we have yet another English book which would be a rom-com and Honestly, uh, the blurb and the title and the cover just really sold me for this one. Not only because I'm kind of getting into my rom-com mood at the moment, but just the cover itself. This is the cover and the title would be Love Decoded by Jennifer Yan. And it's so pretty. The book is a bit taller than my other ones, but all in all, I think it's really nice. The art itself is beautiful. Obviously no spray edges because most English books don't unless they're a special edition. But the blurb, it's a rom-com but make it tech and that just really spoke to me because I love books where tech plays a role and yeah. Also I just saw there's chat bubbles in there. Oh my god. Then we have a hardcover edition of a book which recently was published, I believe. It is by Annalie Sprana and it's none other than Lore of the Wilds. And this one will be a fairy loot book, I believe. So the fairy loot romanticy book or pick this year. And yeah, it looks really nice to me. The cover is really pretty, the back as well. And yeah, I've heard a lot about this book, honestly, and it's supposed to be really good. We'll see. And then finally, we have two German books, one of them being the Flowers and Bones book number two. This is what it looks like. This is the spread edges. There is no spread edges on top and bottom. The book is by Sandra Grauer and I already have the first book and I really honestly haven't been able to start it yet. But it looks so interesting and pretty which is why I really want to try this. The plot itself seems very unique so also the flop. The people who get it get it, the people who don't don't. And then finally we have the last book which just arrived today actually and it is Until Midnight Rain by Jessie Wiederkind and this one is something I'm also looking forward to because the book itself seems to have this academia setting and I really love romances with an academia setting. It's just really chill and nice and easy to read usually and also the sprayed edges. Beautiful. I know there are these books. I know there is this other book which also has a dark blue cover and that one honestly doesn't speak to me that much because it also has these similar colored or basically the same color sprayed edges. But this with the stars and the way this connects with the cover is just so beautiful that it honestly instantly spoke to me. Very pretty. It is 
signed and yeah that being said we are done with this small book haul there is no other books for now i technically do have another book on my way which would be the roommate by rosie denham which i recently reread and i just want to transfer my notes and annotations in general and highlights into the physical copy and yeah that being said this was a rather short video compared to last time, but I am very much looking forward to next week. Uh, hopefully it will be a longer video again. I haven't decided which of my ideas I want to film for that, but we'll see. And yeah, by the way, I don't know if you've noticed, but I changed my shelf again. <laughs> surprise um let me know what you think about this just because i kind of like how it looks now also now that we've just got the harry potter slash fantastic beats books over there and not just the box set of the slytherin edition yeah if you are interested in seeing more of me behind the scenes maybe me recommending more books on a daily basis and just me giving more in-depth reviews on the books i'm reading I highly suggest you stop by on my bookstagram, which would be called Cafe Sign, just like here. And yeah, and that being said, I shall see you again next time and bye bye!